Don't forget to water my plants. Check. I'll water every day. Don't pamper it. I don't want it getting all soft on me. Don't worry. Everything will be fine. You deserve to go away and enjoy your vacation days. <laughs> vacation days? I'm still banking those. This is a research trip. To a resort in the Caribbean? I haven't been to this resort. I'm researching it for my next vacation. I just feel strange leaving without anyone in charge. Well, I'm here. I wonder if my nephew would come in. He's only 14, but he is a smart kid. Come on, can I be acting mayor? If acting mayor means person who tells people the mayor will call them back, then yes. Yay, I get to be acting mayor. I, I promise to take my duty very seriously. Well, that's one of us. Ciao. overhauled the engine. New clutch, mm. turbos, manifold, pumps. It's a beauty. Too bad it's still just a tractor. Show me another tractor that can go zero to 20 in 3.2 seconds. <laughs> yeah, right. Prove it. You're on. Told ya. Too bad I couldn't go 20 back to zero in less than a minute. Well, hindsight being 2020, I guess I should have upgraded the brakes as well. Pretty sure foresight would have worked too. No harm done. Brother Yasser, I need to hang some shelves. Can I borrow your drill? No. Yeah. It's very nice of you, because I know you might feel weird about me using your tools. Not at all. Well, you're a contractor, your drill's your livelihood. You shouldn't just lend it to me. You should do it for me. You don't know how to use a drill? It couldn't be simpler. You select the proper drill bit. You open the chuck. You secure the bit. You set the torque. You make sure you're level and... Off you go. Set torque to chuck. I'll do it. I'll get the drill. Thank you. I'm also going to be using a pencil. Do you want me to show you how that works too? I know how a pencil works. It's not a mechanical pencil, is it? Rev? Ah. Brightening up the place? Well, art is good for the soul. Well, I don't know if I'd call that art, but I guess it's what you can afford on a church budget. I painted it. Oh. So you, uh... I knew it. It's horrible. Mrs. Bernier was right. Oh, she? My art teacher, grades four, five, and six. She used to say, Duncan, you are the worst student ever. You have no talent. Well, you know, if you look at it closely, um, the colors. Hey, yellow is for wheat, blue is for sky, the pumpkin is orange. That's a house. The pumpkin-colored orange house? I knew it. Mrs. Bernier was right. I'm a failure. Frame is nice. I believe some idiot just drove through our Welcome to Mercy sign. Are they all right? Well, it was a hit and run, so I'm guessing yes. <laughs> oh, this is the biggest crisis of my administration. Administration? The mayor is away for 10 days. That is not an administration. Well, it was enough time for our sign to come down. I blame your administration. I never liked that sign anyways. It was so unwelcoming. Yeah, we, know we need something original and unique. Burkefield honors its sister city in Greece by having their sign in both languages. <gasps> Let's take that idea. We have a sister city? Yeah, in China. It fosters good relationships between our two cultures. What's it called? I'll have to look it up. But I think we should put Chinese on the sign. If Chinese is going to be in our sign, I demand Arabic be there. It is a language of Islam. Hmm. Yeah, sure. Hmm. More the merrier. Arabic. Now, these 
Chamber of Commerce guys mm -hmm. are sharks. If you're getting over your head, just let me know. Thank you, Daryl. <clears throat> Enjoy the grub? Yes, oh, thank you very yes. much. Listen, the uh, guys and I were hoping to bend the acting mayor's ear for a minute. Oh. If you don't mind. Not at all. Let's do it. Sorry, not you. We just want to talk to the acting mayor. Oh. You can wait with the spouses. I, 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 I'll be right back, sweetie. Oh, oh, is this a backroom deal? Is there scotch and cigars? There's orange drink. Oh, orange drink. Oh, orange drink. Nice. Cucumber sandwich? <sighs> hey. Oh, that bad, huh? No. It's not bad. It's just, uh, uh, is it finished? I'm a failure. I don't know why I go on. Duncan, hobby painting is supposed to relax you, even if it is unsettling to other people. I see. That's all it's ever going to be, huh? A hobby. Look, what do I know about art anyway? Representing the human figure in art is a big no-no for Muslims. Wait a minute. You might be onto something here. Abstract painting. Mrs. Bernier would never allow it, said it was too free-thinking, but Mrs. Bernier isn't around anymore. She passed on. I'm sorry. No, she moved to Montana. I'm sorry. I'm gonna paint something abstract, and you're gonna hang it in your office. Oh, boy. Now that there's going to be Arabic and Chinese on the sign, we at the Ukrainian Society want to know when there's going to be Ukrainian, so we can... <laughs> I'm president of the Italian Association. We demand that you put us on the sign. Hi, it's the phone company. We're wondering when you're going to get voicemail instead of an old-fashioned answering machine. Assalamu alaikum. Oh, Fatima. Walakum assalam. Uh, do you need something? Need something? No. I just stopped by to see how my favorite acting man was doing. Oh, well, thank you. Thanks. <laughs> About that sign? Oh, don't tell me you want Nigerian on that sign. Of course not. I want Yoruba, what we speak in Nigeria. Here's the translation. But no pressure. Odabo. Oh, Oda, whatever. <laughs> Hi, I'm calling from the Mercy Visually Impaired Society. We think this sign should be in Braille. Oh, you want to hang a mirror, you use a stud finder. It sounds difficult. Fine, I'll do it for you later. That's more like it. <laughs> Why can't people learn how to use tools? A stud finder's not hard. What you do... Yeah, yeah, what are you really so riled about? It's very humiliating at the businessman's luncheon. Did you get coleslaw on your pants? Oh, well, yes. But the main thing is, I had to wait with the wives for an hour while your mother talked business. <laughs> Sorry, uh, what did you and the wives talk about? Nothing. Pedicures. That was actually interesting. I'm thinking of getting one. The point is, it was humiliating. Well, that's kind of how it is now, Dad. Mom's the acting mayor and you're the first lady. Oh, don't say that, darling. That's not so bad. You just have to look nice and stand beside Mom. Sorry. Don't worry your pretty little head about it. Mr. Hamoudi. Oh, hello. We would like to invite you to a meeting of the ladies' auxiliary. Auxiliary to what? I don't know. It's just a name. The mayor's wife normally does a talk for us each year. But Mayor Popovich is single and she's a woman. So we haven't done it for a while. Now is our chance to make up for that. But I have work to do, construction work. Manly construction work. Oh, come on, Dad. It'll be a chance to get all dolled up, wear something pretty. Oh, and I wrote down the name of that pedicure place for you. Ah, oh, yes. Hmm. Wait, 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 wait. I just have to treat myself. Yeah. Don't look up. Duncan? I have another painting, but I don't want to startle you again. So, look up slowly, and I want an honest reaction. You see, Mrs. Bernier was right. I should have taken up home ec. No, this is good. Wow. <laughs> Can I have it? You mean it? You said I could have it. Could be worth something. You could be the next Van Gogh. 
He never sold a painting. You trying to say I'll never sell a painting? You're needy. Well, that was very good. And you didn't get slaw in your pants this time. You noticed. Thank you very much. Mm. Well, I should be going. You can't go yet. You have to do your speech. The what? Sorry, didn't I tell you? No, you didn't. I think I did. I think I would remember. Yes, but I would have told you. Well, we both agreed that you could have told me, but I don't think you did. Just get up there and let it flow. The mayor might be the brains of town hall, but you are the heart. Couldn't I just be the legs and walk home? Well, thank you very much for this opportunity, ladies. Uh, people should learn to use tools. It's not very hard, and it's an important skill that will stand you in good stead for the rest of your lives. What kind of tools? Power tools. Take the bandsaw, for example. Very exciting. There are three principles involved. Oh, three? Yes. Now listen to this. We've welcomed the whole world to mercy. Now the whole world will know what our sign says. What does it say? It's just a translation of English. What English? It's supposed to say welcome to mercy somewhere. It's spelled two with two O's. Is that Klingon? Oh, that's, is that French? Oh, so you're the clerk who ordered the sign we had to take down. I am not just a clerk. I have a name, you know. I'm sorry. What is it? Clark. Right. Sorry. I was just talking with the sign people, and they say that we didn't specify to use English. Well, couldn't they just use common sense? You're the one who put Braille on a road sign. So now I've got the whole town angry because they didn't put English on this sign. This town deserves better. So what now? I'm using a sign maker from out of town. Smart. I'm sorry about the painting, Mrs. Nezron. I hope he doesn't have any nightmares. It's the weirdest thing, Duncan. I was looking at your new painting, and the way you've arranged the shapes, you can definitely see the figure of a person. Really? Oh, yeah. Everybody's noticed. I didn't do it on purpose. Oh, I know. You're an artist. You've got so many things going on on so many different levels. You're like a multi-leveled building full of levels. <laughs> well, I, I might have tapped into my subconscious a little. Good tapping. Anyway, I can't have it in my office. Well, I thought you liked the painting. I do. But uh, depicting the human form in a painting, not appropriate for an imam's office. I'll do a new painting. This one, really abstract. You don't have to do that. I will. I need to paint on a broader canvas. Broader horizons is good. No, I, mean, I, I literally have a broader canvas. This painting will be enormous. Awesome. Tools for teens. It's a nice picture. Yeah. Good thing when I had my pedicure, I also had a facial. Do you think this is a good idea? It's my initiative to make the town better. An education campaign to teach basic tool techniques to young people. Get them off the street. Where are you holding it? On the street. I need to ask you to shut it down for the day. You know, your pores do look good in this photo. Yeah. You should see my feet. I don't know what to say. I definitely see the image of a face in this one, too. Really? It's a man, dark hair, mustache. It's not one of the prophets, is it? Well, actually, I think it's uh, that guy from the coffee cans. Juan Valdez? Is that forbidden? Well, uh, copyright violation. Hey, I was drinking coffee when I painted this. Wow. My subconscious is good. It's a good painting. I think you've really proven that Mrs. Bernier was wrong. And you should stop now. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Hey there. 
Oh, what's this? Duncan painted it. Oh, uh, wow. Good effort. Uh, no offense. Uh, it wasn't on purpose. Well, that's a lot of paint to spill accidentally. No, I mean the representational art. It's unintentional. I'm sorry. Uh, what are you talking about? It's representational of what? I think there's a face. No, it's just a bunch of triangles. No, it's, it's like those uh, old magic eye posters. You gotta let your eye go a little unfocused. It's uh, 3D, actually. Wait a minute. No. I see what's going on here. I did not accept your command to wait a minute, so you can't. You hate my painting. No. You're just trying to spare my feeling. I would never do that. Mrs. Bernier was right. She's looking down at me and she's laughing. I thought you said she lived in Montana. She lives on a hill. You lied to him. I didn't want the painting. What was I supposed to say? I don't want your painting. Well, 2020, hindsight. So, tools for teens, huh? Is something wrong with that? No, 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 I'm all for power tool awareness. Uh, it sort of makes you wonder who wears the pants in this family. Huh? Well, I mean, you hold the office, right? He doesn't. Nobody voted for him. Nobody voted for me. I'm acting mayor. <laughs> Still, you know, sort of makes you wonder, uh, you know, who's running the old ship Arino? Captain or the captain's wife? He's not my wife. Yeah, but if you were a captain, uh, he'd be your wife. You'd be a man. Well, women can be ship's captains. Well, this is kind of an old-timey ship, like like uh, Columbus. I don't think people brought their wives on ships back then. I mean, that's why they carved women on the ships. It was the only woman they saw. Well, yeah, but if you were uh, on the ship, you wouldn't see her. She'd be on the front of the ship. But they could see her when they were getting on board. You know, a lot of them got scurvy because they didn't have oranges. That's true. Anywho, sign fiasco, people are talking. I just spoke with the new sign people. Are they on their way yet? They were. They drove right past the town because we don't have a sign. Did you think of sending someone from here to pick it up? Yep. And? They haven't made it back. We have got to get this solved before the mayor gets back. If she can find us. Darling, what do you think? Double-breasted or sports jacket? Is that all you think about clothes? There are serious issues going on. What's wrong? Well, well, you're all gallivanting around with your little projects. I'm trying to run the town and you're undercutting me. How so? Well, people are already wondering about me because of the sign crisis and you're going off on your own agenda. It makes it look like I can't control you. Control me? Well, no, that's not what I mean. But just could you keep it a little more low profile? Are you saying that? Because I'm your spouse, I can't have any ideas. No, of course you have ideas, darling. Just please don't put them into action. I have a mind too, you know. Oh, come on. You're being way too dramatic. Uh, come on out and we'll talk about no. it. No. Oh, honey, let's be rational about this. You be rational. I should have been honest with you. I'm sorry, but this, I like this. Thank you, Omar. I guess the thing to remember about painting is that you're supposed to do it with the heart and not with the head. And to remember to ventilate so fumes don't build up. Huh? <sighs> Good painting, though. I would have been proud to have it in my office. I didn't offer it to you. Oh. Canvas alone is worth 50 bucks. I'll give you 75 for it. In your face, Bernier. I've gone pro. Wouldn't this have been easier in a basement or something? This is more festive. It's about creating awareness. Oh, I think it's nice we're doing this. What are you building? Breadboards. Well, the town may not have a sign, but at least we got breadboards. Oh, my God. Power tools. 
You may think your mind is your greatest tool, but your greatest tool is tools. We're going to have a lot of fun today. You're going to learn a lot about tools, but first, there's a change in plan. We're not going to be making breadboards today. Instead, we are going to build something that helps the whole community. They say that child labor is a bad thing, but it has its uses. Thank you, darling. It's just wonderful. Although it's a shame about the kid losing the eye. Mercy. A place to loom. But it's the easiest letter. I can do it tomorrow. <laughs> Whoa. It's a Duncan McGee original. You like it? No. You can't have this in your office. What? Look at it. It's a face. Right there, there's his eyes, his nose, and he's wearing a hat. Your imagination is playing tricks on you. It, it's not a hat, it's a beret. You're right. Maybe I can hang it upside down. Oh, it's good to be home. So, anything interesting happened when I was away? Oh, uh, well, someone drove through the Welcome to Mercy sign, but I had another one made in Braille, a Ukrainian and Arabic, but they didn't put English on the sign, so I had some teenagers build another one, but it's all taken care of, and the Welcome to Mercy sign is as it was. Huh. We have a Welcome to Mercy sign? Luckily, yes. Well, as long as everything is as it was when I left. Seriously, that time, it was just stupid. 